hey, do these jeans make my butt look fat? Uh, it's not the jeans. It's your butt that makes your butt look fat. <laughs> We've been spoiled yeah. over the last few years of being able to get data like on demand. So yeah. what do you think's in store for all these platforms and for, and for marketing as a whole? Well, there's going to be less data because of iOS 14, of course, and next year Google's killing third-party cookies on Chrome. And in general, because of GDPR, there's been an increasing amount of decline in the data that we get access to. So all this targeting, which is what made Facebook so interesting, is pretty much going away. And we couldn't do a lot of that targeting because of discrimination laws around age and income and race and ethnicity. And so that applies to real estate, to jobs, to a number of these other categories. So we always knew that those were going to go away, that eventually the government was going to catch up. The government's slow, but the government always wins. The government's the tortoise. You can make fun of it about how slow it is, but the government always wins eventually. So Facebook, I predict this year or next year is going to get their comeuppance. And as smart and rich as Mark Zuckerberg is, he cannot evade the law. He cannot evade the government. And he will get his ass handed to him because Instagram and WhatsApp will be divested. Just like Ma Bell, just like the airline industry with deregulation, those will get broken up. Google was looking at the same thing, but I think they already started it with what they're doing with Alphabet and by changing who their different leaders are, which they knew. Uh, Uber did the same thing, kicking out Travis Kalanick and putting in a more corporate person who would play nice with the government, right? So what does this mean for us in measurement? It means we've got to get our digital plumbing in place. Digital plumbing is our Google Tag Manager as a container, a universal pixel that then controls all the other pixels, the Google Pixel, the Facebook Pixel, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat, TikTok, all ad networks, all networks in general have a pixel so that we can track. And then we need to get the other part of digital plumbing, which is things like collecting email addresses and matching them up, having UTM parameters so we can track with link URLs, you know, the parameters inside the URLs on where that traffic's coming from. We need to have site-wide SSL so that we don't lose a lot of traffic and have it show up as direct none. There's a lot of things that we need to do to get our tracking together. We need to verify our Facebook business manager. We need to make sure that we have the conversion API for both Google and Facebook so we can pass back conversion server side instead of relying upon the pixel to do it. All of these things are core measurement things that we've known for years. And most people, because the cost of traffic on Facebook and Google and these other channels has been so low that they could be kind of lazy. And the systems have been so smart about optimizing Google and Facebook primarily because you can optimize to a conversion. I need conversions at less than $20 or I need an ROAS of 350% and whatnot. The system will optimize for you, which has caused people to believe that they're better marketers than they actually are. It's just like when you're a, an investor in the stock market and, and the stock market is just going up, you feel like you're a really smart investor. Any dumb dumb is going to make money when the market's going up and going up, right? Well, guess what? Things don't continue to go up forever. And things, I don't mean to be a pessimist, but things will, we will definitely have a crash. It will happen. And you're going to see a crash with these ad networks. But the thing is, the crash doesn't affect everyone equally. Some people are going to get hammered. And some people are going to win real big. So you, you know in the last year, the, the companies that have won the most have been the big tech companies because they were best positioned for COVID and all this kinds of stuff. So when, there be, when there's going to be a crash in digital in the next year, who's going to be the one that's best prepared? Whoever has the most data, whoever has the best tracking, whoever can afford to spend the most on their advertising. Just like Bezos said, your margin, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, your margin is my opportunity. Ultimately, whoever wins is whoever can pay the most for that customer, meaning you've got the tracking in place and your, your conversion's so high, you can afford to pay more for your customer. And that's where we're going to be. The cost of advertising is only going up every year. The last 30 years, the cost of ads have gone up. People are complaining. The average CPMs on Facebook are $10. The average cost per click on Google has gone up 6 or 7% every single year. Guess what? It's going to keep going up. Right now, Snapchat's about a buck fifty, and TikTok is about $6. So the cost of the traffic is way cheaper on these emerging networks. But I guarantee you in four or five years, 
the cost of Snapchat traffic is going to be up at 10 bucks. And you're going to say, dang it. I wish, I wish I was there in the early days of Snapchat when I could get traffic for, you know, cost per swipe up at less than a dime. And now I'm paying a dollar, man. I really wish I put money in there when it was so much cheaper. And and it's, and it's funny because like so many people think that traffic is the biggest issue, right? Let's look at e-com for example, right? Conversion every time. Yeah. Most people don't, don't even have like, can't even optimize the traffic that's coming in. Right. It's, it's, it's like a leaky bucket trying to fill the leaky bucket by just spraying more with a, with a fire hose Uh, in in order to fix up the patches. So I think you're a hundred percent right in terms of like, there's so much within your control that you're trying to fight the outside external factors, but you're not, you're not fighting the little fights that you could easily win inside your own house. Ecom, we see people have great shopping carts, but they don't realize the website really needs to be more like a magazine where you're teaching people and you're helping people understand your brand and you're featuring your customers instead of just a place where people can use Shopify to, to purchase the product. And as long as they have that misunderstanding, their advertising is going to be limited because they are not understanding that the, the site and all the other properties, the social networks, whatever, that tie to the site, that tie to their brand, have to tell the story. They have to tell their founder's story like a Kickstarter thing. They have to tell the stories of their customers. They have to go into some behind the scenes about how their products are made. They have, they have to do all this kind of stuff. And it's not just, let's have more pictures in, you know, on the product detail page. That's not what it is. And it's the, they can get mad at Facebook for ads being disapproved. They can get mad at things related to Google shopping and how sometimes there there's product problems with their dynamic ads or, you know, the catalog. That's not what it is. Ultimately when, you ever have a, a lady come up to you and say, hey, do these jeans make my butt look fat? Uh, it's not the jeans. It's your butt that makes your butt look fat. <laughs> and so when, when we audit people's stores and we audit their ad campaigns and they, they get mad at Facebook or Google, I look at them and I say, you want the truth? Your creative sucks. Your strategy isn't on point. It has nothing to do with, I've gone through three agencies to run my ads before and every one of them couldn't deliver results. Can you deliver results? Um, ba- back to your dating gonna, reference. It's going to be just like, yeah, your previous, you're yeah, going to get the same result. <laughs> yeah, back to your dating reference. It's like the woman who goes on dates with like a bunch of guys and, and is like, and, and, and never works out. And she's like, it's the guys. It's all the guys. It's, it's always the guys. Maybe if it was like two, but if you're going on like 4,000 dates and none of them are interested in you, maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Yeah. Hey everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want, check out our most recent video over here. And this one is the one YouTube thinks you'll like, but if you really enjoyed watching, please do me a favor, like, and subscribe over here. Thank you so much.